Welcome to Newswire, news for Nebraska's farmers and ranchers. I'm Cassie Holbe Heinrich, Communication Coordinator for Nebraska Farm Bureau. State Senators will soon take on a process that could reshape the political landscape in Nebraska. The Nebraska Legislature will begin the process of creating new voting boundaries for both the legislative and congressional districts with public hearings next week in Grand Island, Lincoln and Omaha. Nebraska Farm Bureau talked with Speaker of the Legislature Mike Hilgers on what can be expected during this special session dedicated to redistricting. We actually have seven different maps that we have to draw uh, when we go into special session September 13th. Because of a delay in the release of the 2020 census results, the Nebraska legislature will now begin and complete a process that traditionally takes five months in just a short three-week special session. Redistricting happens once every 10 years but leaves a lasting impact. So you might have a, a district for whatever it might be, whether it's Congress or it's the legislature, that might lose or gain population. And you don't want to have one district that has twice as many uh, citizens as another district. And so every 10 years we go through and sort of smooth all of that out. And we do it for Congress, as you mentioned, we do it for the legislature, but we also do it for a number of other elected offices around the state, including the PSC, the Board of Regents, the Board of Education. We also actually do the districts for, recall, uh, for retention elections for judges. Speaker Mike Hilger says the goal is to complete and approve new maps by October 1st in order to give the Secretary of State's office and other entities enough time to prepare for the upcoming election. Because of the compressed time frame, the redistricting committee will kick off the process with public hearings in each congressional district. There's a number of ways they can, they can have their voice heard. Some of them are the traditional ways. They can come to the hearing. So if you're in Lincoln, you can come to Lincoln. If you're near Grand Island, you can do that and you can testify just like you would on any other bill. You can, of course, always email your senator. You can email the redistricting committee itself. You can email me as speaker. You can also go on to our online system at nebraskalegislature.gov. There's an online public comment system where you can click and provide your input, which can be seen by all of the senators. Nebraska Farm Bureau is committed to protecting the rural voice throughout this redistricting process. Earlier this year, senators adopted an amendment modifying language about protecting the cores of prior districts, which was requested by Nebraska Farm Bureau during testimony. But Hilger says farmers and ranchers need to make their voice heard as these new maps are being created. I think rural Nebraska is the heartbeat of our state and so it is very important to the legislature even as we do a statewide map that we really think hard about how to preserve our rural character and we want to hear your voice. Thoughtful, well-considered emails go a long way with the body and at the end of the day we represent our own areas, we represent the state, and the only way to do right by the state is to ensure we've got really good feedback from citizens, and we really want, we really need that feedback to make the best product possible, because this map's gonna be in place for the next 10 years. So we really wanna make sure that we get it right, and the only way to get it right is for our ag producers around the state to make sure they're giving us our input, so please make sure you do that. Nebraska Farm Bureau will have members testify at each of the upcoming public hearings, but we encourage you to contact your senator and urge them to protect the rural voice. For more stories like this, visit NEFB.org and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching this week's Newswire from Nebraska Farm Bureau, the trusted voice for Nebraska farm and ranch families.